to the First Star Dynasty Podcast, episode 111. Too early tomorrow? <laughs> I'm your host, Tomcat. This is my buddy, Uncle Piff. How are you doing today? What's going on, guys? <clears throat> I'm ready to do a little mocking, a little rookie mocking. Well, we're we're getting a lot, you know, a lot of news, a lot of news coming in. I'm sure when people listen to the episode every once in a while, they'll be like, oh, you missed this part, you missed this part. We do record on a certain day, and then the episodes come out. So if there's any news, we're chomping at the bit. Uh, we are eventually going to start doing more lives and shorts and stuff like that to keep up on some of the breaking news. But uh, because we're just starting out, just is what it is, and uh, we'll get going from there. So um, do you want to just get right into it, or you want to, you know, sorry, I'm rolling on something that's making noise. There we go. <laughs> yeah, let's just get right into it. All right. Well, we're gonna well for the for the mock we're gonna use um the mock we did the other day we're gonna use Daniel Jeremiah's mock for landing spots so mm-hmm. a little Marathon insight there. into why we're drafting. As you can see, ah, I got a new background right. too. Not sick sponsor. of the uh, sick of the mansion. Sick of the mansion. Sick of the mansion. Well, on a less light note, Rasheed Rice. We'll get right into it. Why do players do stupid things? They have the world at their fingertips, and I don't mean literally the world, but you know what I mean. Like you're on, you're on the cusp of, you know, you do well enough, and he was doing well. You get another contract. You already got enough money where you could, if you're smart with it, you could change your life forever. But like then you're gonna get that real life changing money. It's what do you think? Oh, I mean, you just won a Super Bowl. I mean, young, yeah, I just think about back when I was young, like I did really dumb stuff when I was young. So I can't, I mean, I get like, yeah, you you got to have more responsibility than that, you know. But did you do that? But, yeah. No, <laughs> Maybe not sure. racing, but yeah, dumb, dumb stuff. Cars were something that I had people close to me that got in actual like bad accidents where it made me not. Like, I was just smart enough to be like, I'm not messing around with that. Everybody does dumb things when they're young. But there's certain destructive things like with cars and other, obviously, other types of vehicles. Ironically, uh, or I guess that's coincidentally. Coincidentally, uh, Naheem Hines talking about how he got in the jet ski accident, how he he regrets it and this and that. Yeah, I'm sure you do regret it, dude, because you you wasted a year of your career and, you you know, your contract's done now. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, he did sign uh, somewhere. Rasheed I don't Rice remember where, really, though. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm just going to settle in. Uh, Rasheed Rice is one of those things where it's one of those really disappointing things because the Chiefs have been really missing on wide receiver ever since Tyreek was gone. You finally thought you had somebody, and then this happens, and who knows what's going to happen with suspension or I don't think they're going to cut him or anything, but, like, who knows? No, I don't, but, I mean. People get really hurt or just people just crash. No, I think some some lady and her son got hurt pretty bad. So there That's might be something gets, going on there. That's where it gets but, real uh, serious. You know, they'll overlook some stuff if nobody got hurt. But when it comes to people getting hurt, they're yeah. I'm pretty sure. I, like nothing serious. I don't think not like they're not like they didn't like almost die or anything. But still, it's definitely gonna still. that lady just hit that lady hit the lottery. Yeah, sad. It's sad. It is what it is, and who knows how? The, I would say at least a sixty-eight game suspension. And uh, they had the video on X with the dash cam. And I don't know if it was him, but somebody was walking somebody out of that car. I don't know if it was him that was getting walked out of the car or or what, but somebody got walked out of the I car. Heard, I heard there's another video of uh, somebody like video like. You know, like he like putting their phone out to him, and like him just like you could like see, clearly see it's with him or whatever. But I don't know if that's true. I, I that's allegedly. I I have not seen that video. So, yeah. So I I think now it's pretty much solidifies. I mean, I thought they might go corner, or like trade back and take a corner, but now I'm kind of positive they're gonna go wide receiver with that thirty the thirty second. And it pick. reminds me of when uh Terry Kill was possibly in trouble and then all of a sudden well, they had to the, they had the drafted Meekle good. and yeah it didn't work out. Oh man. 
Yeah, that's wild. That's just messed up. That's that's it, uh, the video was sucked. crazy. Like I'm surprised nobody got hurt majorly because that looked serious. That's why serious. I was so surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I asked because I hadn't really. I heard about the you know I heard about the crash and everything, but I hadn't really gone too deep into it before we're recording here. But whew. yeah, it's not smart. Know. It sucks in real life, and it sucks as a somebody who owns. Rashi Rice in quite a few leagues because I was a pretty big proponent on him last year and everybody had given up on uh everybody had given up on a lot of Kansas City wide receivers and I was like, no, this one's different. He's good. Blah blah blah. And mm-hmm. he's good. And this happens. And now it's street racing. And running totally worth it. Running away. Totally worth it. I mean, you know. You just started with a team. Yeah, you just won a Super Bowl. Yeah, you're, you know, a couple years you're going to be up for. A, you're, you're a second round pick, so you don't, you're not going to get locked in the fifth round or anything like that. So you're like, they're going to sooner or later talk to you about an extension, or, or you're going to go elsewhere as long as you keep performing. You're going to get that life changing money, and this is how you respond. <sighs> so, yeah, but for fantasy, I'm like thinking he's getting suspended four games. That's what I'm. Um, How many? Like ma- max four games. Max? Yeah. I thought max was six to eight. Like I wouldn't be surprised at a four, but I thought max was six to eight. It's pretty serious. I and mean, they just had the think about this though. Yeah, but I don't know this? if it was a DUI. We don't know if he was drunk no, no, no. or not. Hear me out. Just been Hear racing. me out. Hear me out. It's not that. It's street racing. It's putting people in danger. And the, I know one instance is street racing, and one instance is is DUI, but. We have to put into account that we're not that far away from Henry Ruggs killing somebody. So I don't know. It's just. But he didn't oh, kill oh, somebody. Man. I hope, I hope so, us not. I'm thinking like maybe four the, to hope six. Hope us saying the K word on YouTube before the first 10 minutes at eight minutes doesn't mess up our algorithm. But <laughs> <laughs> out alive. Uh, hmm. Yeah, but Henry Ruggs just did that. And not that long ago, so now you got a guy who gets in an accident that looks really bad on the dash cam, and they're lucky that nobody got more hurt. This is the time, and I don't, I don't hope this. And Rasheed Rice, if by some miracle you somehow see this podcast, I don't want you to think I want this for you. But what the NFL, as a company, if I was working there, should do is give him a sixty-eight game suspension to really deter other people or even longer, maybe even a year to make sure that other players aren't street racing. Cause they just had somebody die from a car related accident. Not that long ago. So now you're going to have this it's unrelated. It's different circumstance, but still they need to discourage the players not to mess around with cars like that. Now, outside of that, as a fantasy uh, owner of Rishi race, please don't do that. Please make it like two, two to four games. <laughs> like please. Yeah, just because uh, I don't think it depends how bad this lady's hurt. I think with the yeah. in her son, I, I, I think know? so. That's going to factor into the length, I believe. Sorry about that. Long day. Long day. Um, Long day. Drink a coffee. Pretend that it's actually affecting me, and then go to bed in a little bit. Uh, I, I think that's about it. I mean, you know, we're a little shy on the time we allotted for Rasheed, but like we, we, we talked about it. It's basically just like players need to stop thinking they can do stuff like this. Uh, I don't really have anything else I can add to it other than, you know, nothing special that anybody else hasn't already said in a million other shows. I mean, I guess, um, fantasy impact. Maybe if you wanted to get rid of Hollywood, now's the time. Good call. Good call. We should talk about this. If you can get rid of Hollywood and max out on his value right now, do it. If you can't, this might also be an open door for Hollywood to be worth more than he already might have been worth. So... What would you what would you take for him and or just the regular one QB? What would you take for like about trading him away? Yeah. Uh I 
I'm a specific kind of trader. I don't want to trade a player for a random pick ever. So I'm more of the style of, I want to get rid of Hollywood. I'm going to put Hollywood in a pick for a better wide receiver. So if somebody is high on Hollywood and I can get like a, trying to think of a specific tier that's not too outrageous. Cause I don't think you can get rid of, unless it's a first, you might be able to get rid of Hollywood in a first if he's getting hyped for somebody good. Or maybe a first and a second in Hollywood for somebody good, but I don't even know if I want to do that because there's, you know, uh, I it depends. They'd have to be a young. They'd have to be a young wide receiver if I was going to yeah, do that. Yes, that's what I mean. But I don't think you can get Hollywood in some fir- in a first and a second for Garrett Wilson or something. Uh, maybe I'm thinking. All right, if I'm going for a, 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 a ship. If I'm going for a ship, and I don't care about the next. I only care about the next year or two. I might, if he's hyped up enough, try to get rid of like Hollywood in a, in a second for like an older wide receiver that people are losing faith on, like Stephon Diggs or um, I don't think anybody would pay that either. See, Diggs is in this tough spot where people don't want to sell him for nothing, but they also don't want to pay anything for him. So it's like... Yeah, we, uh, we already missed the boat on him. That's I mean, too too that's far how, gone. That's now. how I feel too. Like you're only like gonna he... get like maybe two seconds for him at like the most. You maybe it's worth it. in first. At that point, you ride him on on your team and hope that he's you know even if he's a wide receiver two at worst, and he wasn't. He was a wide receiver one last year, even though he had a bad stretch. He still was a wide receiver one. Um, that's tough. I I don't know. I guess Hollywood is somebody I would try to get like. Oh, T. Higgins. Yes. Yeah. If if people are if if this news got people high on Hollywood and you could get rid of Hollywood in a second for T. Higgins, I would do that in a heartbeat. I mean, if I was just talking picks for Hollywood, it would have to be like two. That's seconds. more your realm. You know, I don't like doing. I need proof. It would have to be two seconds for, for it to be worth it for me to even do it because he's still relatively young. You know, he just has yeah. injury history. Yeah. And, uh, you know, now he's with Mahomes, and now there's nobody but Kelsey. Mm-hmm. So. And him and Kelsey are just completely different styles. So even if he's using both of them, he's using them both for different reasons. You know. But I won't be able to see them. But, yeah, I would say that's, that's a really good call. Really good call. Uh, we'll move on to the next one, and it'll be – It's actually going to go into one of the stars we had an episode or two ago with Nick Chubb, and it's going to be the fact that the Browns came out and said they plan on being conservative with Nick Chubb. Right. So right. now that I hear that, I definitely am a little more. Um, I, I'm a little more apt to draft like a Jerome Ford. I don't really want a Jerome Ford, but yeah. I mean, I'll take him. I already said I would. I mean, they got Dante Foreman too now, so. But redraft is different. They... Using him in the beginning of the year for a redraft is different than if you're in a startup in Dynasty. You know, he's only gonna be good for a half a year. Uh, yeah, but I, but I mean, I'm not taking. He probably have to be like after the round fifteen. But now know, with that before news I even... he's gonna go soon. He's gonna go sooner. You watch. I don't know. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a round. I don't, I don't no. know. I still wouldn't. No, nope. I guarantee he's going to go so? 10 11. He's going to go 10 or 11. But what if what if they draft the running back? I don't know. That's why I don't think he's going to move that high yet. After the draft, he might move up if they don't draft one. They only have – they don't have a first. I don't think they're going to draft a running back when they're playing Their first pick 54, I think. Up. Their first picks fifty four, and that's where these running backs are going to likely go. A bunch of these, like at least the top three, are going to go. That that's fair, but the fact that they've had so much success on a washed up Kareem Hunt, Jerome Ford, and all these like, late guys, they after Chubb, they might stop taking running backs later for right now. Like they already have Chubb, they want to wait till he recovers. They have Ford, and you know, probably could sign Kareem Hunt if they wanted, but they're not going to. Uh, but they got yeah, Jerome. But- Ford. Uh, there's Isn't somebody Chubb, else. Who'd they sign? I Chubb's forgot. Pro- 
Dante Foreman. Yes. So they're going to use those two at the beginning. And then when Chubb comes back, he'll take the workload. Uh-huh. But, yeah, I I just... Maybe if you're trying to... to... Honey, I'm, I'm podcasting. <laughs> Maybe, uh... He's 28... Yeah, I mean, but every He's in the final year, final year of his deal. Every player is different. He could, he could be really a he could be get cut, dude. Who knows? He's not gonna get cut. I guarantee you, he's not gonna get cut. No, I don't think so. They would save eleven point eight million if they do after June first, and only taking a four million cap hit. I mean, if it was another player, yeah, I don't think they'll do that to Nick Job. Not yeah, okay. You gonna go with the loyalty thing? I, I don't They're know. They're gonna him back and sign him to a two-year deal, three-year deal. A three-year deal with a two-year out. He's twenty-eight. Exactly. Tired. Nobody's going to pay Brown. a thirty-year-old running back. I didn't say they're going to pay him well. They already paid him a lot of money, didn't they? Yeah, like a a couple. I think it was like a three-year, thirty-four million. Well, they already paid him a good chunk of money. So, like, worst-case scenario, if he comes back and they're like, "Hey," We want you on the team, but we can't pay you a ton. And even if he's just like, hey, I'll take whatever. I want to play football. It depends on – we don't know Nick Chubb's mentality, I guess, is what it comes down to. We don't know how he actually feels about it. Like, some people will take, like, a lower deal toward the end of their career because they they start to be a little humble about it and more realistic. And they're like, hey, I want to keep playing football. I want to, you know, a, a ring or whatever. And I don't want to – not everybody has to – you know what I'm trying to say. Like, I know some people are in it specifically for the money, but some people are in it for both the money and the game. And when the money is gone and they realize they have to take lower, they would they do. So I don't know. I feel like if you know they don't do anything this year and Watson blows and they suck, why would you want to stay? That's fair. That's fair. When Watson blows. Um, all right. We'll, if, uh, if Watson blows, when? So we'll. Uh, do you have anything else to say about Joe, or do you want to move on to number three? Oh, I hope he comes back, and I hope he does well. But me too. It was, it was a serious knee injury, so hopefully they really take their time and just you know. As but I, dynasty, I won't be surprised if they if they take a running back in the draft. As a dynasty owner. I would like if the Browns did a Derrick Henry, DeMarco Murray, where they grab a really good running back that they plan on barely using for a year or two behind well, however Chubb lasts. If Chubb lasts, they use him. And if he doesn't, they use the new guy. But they purposely do that. That would be cool. Now, that being said, I don't know how to take it, but the Browns, I'm trying to take them at, at good faith. And, and, you know, they said they want to be – I, they, th- I think it's it. going to be 50-50 whether they caught him or not. 50-50. Yes, that's, that's fair. Uh, I think they're not going to. I totally get why you think they are. But I, I do think uh, I do think there's a good chance that they're trying to have him retire a Brown because he's been really good. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, uh, we'll move on to the third star, and that will be Brandon Ayuk. Talk a little bit more about him. Ooh. I think we're good. And uh, I love Brandon Ayuk. Absolutely him, underrated. He really is. I wish the Niners would just give him money because they give everybody else money. I don't understand why they're not giving him money. I don't know if that's a uh, 
a choice of Shanahan. I'm just well, didn't they just pay it. Debo? Didn't they just pay Debo? Yeah, not that long ago. They just paid Debo. No, fuck, that. fuck Debo. Your boy. Trade his ass. Fucking hate Debo. Oop, I swore. Well, we were 20 minutes in. Debo no, stinks. Okay. Stinks. I'm pretty sure it's just the 10 minutes. I don't know how much of a rumor and how, how factual that is, but I'm pretty sure uh, it's 10 minutes. You can't swear. And I de- and those some of those other episodes, we said like shit or something in the first 10 minutes. It is what it is. We're learning. <laughs> um, so yeah, Ayuk, man. Um, so if they don't if they don't pay him, where do you think he'll go? Where do you think they'll trade him? Or where would you want him to be traded? We'll say. Um I like George Pickens. I do. But I do think if he went to the Steelers, he would, the IU easily becomes the number one, and, and Pickens is just like a like a high-powered number two. I, uh, I would like that. I would really like him go to, which he would never would. But I'd really like to see what would happen if he went to the Giants, because whether I'm a Danny Dimes guy or not, I will be the first to admit he's never had a number one. He's never had a true number one. So, listen, I don't know what the Giants are going to do with Dan, Daniel Jones. I don't know if they're going to get a quarterback in this draft and then see it and then develop him for a year or two because they, no matter what, they can't get rid of Danny Dimes for like a year or two without eating a ton of money. So they're going to use him. But the but it's like, are they going to get their quarterback in the future while they still have Danny Dimes the way that the Packers have always done? But more mm-hmm. successfully. <laughs> I don't see that happening because they're going to end up taking like somebody big in the draft. So I think we're going to take a wide receiver or trade back. But I feel, and I'm Homer and the hell out, that the Patriots would be in big time on any of these wide receivers that are going to be on the trade market. So they just have nobody. <sighs> and if they take they take a quarterback and with that third pick. They're going to need somebody to throw the ball to. I mean, they got a bunch of set number twos and number threes, but they don't have a one, and now you can be a one. I mean, are you kind of is the one. You can pay Debo all you want, but CMC's two years in a the row one. now, are you has had better stats and better finish. CMC's the one. No, he's a running back. He's also one of the highest targeted running backs in football. He is, but he doesn't get as much as Ayuk, does he? Absolutely. Definitely. He probably Target does. share? I would definitely see that. Let me see this. Especially the oh, way they, they back- spread the ball around. I'm gonna I already mentioned his name, so I have to take him now. In the twenty first round, I take my first defensive player. Zaire so Franklin. Let's go. Um, all right. Sorry about that, guys. I had to uh, make a pick. Um, where else would he be solid? I think he'd be solid. Uh, in San Fran. He should stay there. Like that would should, be a good but spot. But if he doesn't stay there, where else is he good? Um, Carolina. No. Could it be okay? I guess, but I don't want. I don't want Bryce Young throwing to him. If Jacksonville wasn't so crowded, I would say there. Oh, you know what would be good? Chargers. Houston. Yeah, that'd be a good spot. Justin Herbert does not have a one. He could just pepper him. Houston. Houston's good, but they have so many wide receivers right now that I kind of like. I know they don't have a big yeah, name. but they don't. They, don't, they don't, though. They they have fucking Noah Brown, Tank Dell, and fucking Nico Schell. Yeah, but Noah Collins. Brown is slot. And Tank Dell plays all over. But the thing is, 
if Ayuk goes there, we don't have to worry about Noah Brown. Noah Brown only did well because the other guys were – or uh, Tank Dell broke his leg. Oh, but they just re-signed him. That's the only reason I even said that because they just re-signed I understand. Him. They brought him back. No, 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 no. I totally understand. But uh, my only thing is Tank Dell was worth something. He's a rookie. And then no, um, Nico Collins finally worth something. It's like I don't. I really don't want Ayuk to go there and ruin that. I just feel like he would be – and I have Schultz in a bunch. So one of them has to get – one of them will get, will degrade. Yeah, but I'm not thinking like that. I'm thinking like NFL, like that would be a good team for him. Oh, that's fair. But let's think about – I'm thinking – well, I am I have a lot of Brandon Ayuk uh, shares. So for me – sorry, guys. I'm like lounging back. Um, for me, I just have him in so many leagues that I, I'm looking at fantasy. Like where do I want him to go? And I think the Chargers might be the best. He stays in the state. He goes to a, a team which, yes, they're going to run it a lot, but they still need to throw it, and he needs a one. Yeah, and then they could take a tackle or something with their fifth pick if they don't yeah. trade yeah. back. But they're they're not going to – the Chargers – or not Chargers, the uh, – yeah, the Niners are not going to sell – I used to like the Chiefs or, you know, one of those teams. It's going to be like a team that they think is like good, but not going to suck. Yes. No, they're exactly. going to trade to a team that blows. You yeah. say, okay, you don't want to be here. Go to fucking, you know, what used to be Cleveland. <laughs> go to Cleveland play. But now it's like, <sighs> oh, go to New England and play. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Whoever trades hit that, that this is what's going to limit it. The Browns don't have a lot of money with how much they're going to have to pay Watson. So they don't have money. That's the problem. That's why I think they're going to cut Chubb because they don't have any money and they're going to save 11 mil. Ugh, I hope not. But I will say the Niners have to trade Ayuk to a team that can afford to extend him. Or else they're just because no team is going to trade stuff without the intention of keeping him. Nobody's going to be like, "Oh, I'll take you for one year and give give them like good picks." But that's why I think you it's know, the Patriots. I think if he gets traded, it's going to be to the Patriots. They have the most. Well, they have two hundred million in cap space next year. Really <laughs> two hundred million. Dude, that's I really, ridiculous. really, really don't want Ayuk to go to the Patriots because there's nobody to throw. Everybody the ball doesn't at. want the Patriots. I don't know why. Because there's nobody. They're getting the ball. a quarterback. Ooh. They're getting a quarterback. Who? Drake May. They have the third pick. They're getting Drake May or Jaden Daniels. They're not getting Jaden Daniels, and we'll get to that later. Well, well DJ's I mock. Yeah, he he goes to Washington. Drake May goes to Washington. So yeah, it's because he's a he's a Patriots fan, probably. I think he actually is. To be honest with you. Yeah, called it. I'm not positive. <laughs> you think we should move ahead to give ourselves a little extra time for the mock? Because you did kind of accidentally segue segue us into uh, star number four, which is Jaden Daniels. Jaden Daniels. So, who was that one guy? What relation did he have? I forgot. Was it like his coach or? I don't know. Somebody had relation to him. Was like saying how, oh, he's the best quarterback in the uh, draft, and he's going to do really well in uh, Washington. He just straight up said that. So, I think that means that Washington's very interested. Now, maybe they're throwing smoke screens, but they're the number two. They don't have to th throw a smoke screen. But it could be also just somebody just talking shit. Like, they think he's the second best quarterback, so they're just going to, like, it? say, chess. okay, go to Washington, you know, because that they got You think it's bit. chess that, like... Ah, I think it's just a bunch of smoke. I don't think it's well, anything. Me out. I think it's just some out. guys what talking if, out his butt. What if Washington told them that they want him? So that he would like hoping that he would, it would get leaked somewhere when in reality, they're trying to get a team behind them who wants Jaden to trade up for him. Like, what if the Patriots paid to go up one spot and they paid a decent amount and then the next pick, they just happily took Drake man. And they were like, Oh cool. We were going to take Drake man anyways. 
ha ha ha, and they laughed it off. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, they wouldn't get a ton for trading back one pick, but I think I just who are the Vikings going to trade with? Because like, I know they want to trade up, but at the same time, like they have those two first Arizona so first and a first Arizona. You think they're going to tr- take those two picks for the one pick, or do you think they're going to ask for more? No, no it would be need. three picks. It would be probably uh, uh, two first, first this year. year and then one next year. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Like, if it's the Patriots up to the Washington, they're not going to barely want to pay anything. They're going with one pick. So. Yeah, no. If anybody's trading up, it's for to, to get a quarterback, like one of the big three. It's going to be Minnesota. They're the only one with the, the ammo. They let Kirk go. They let him fly away with the Falcons. Oof. Wheels up. Drake London. <laughs> it's true. I, uh, I'm i pretty excited for whatever team gets Jaden Daniels. Uh, I actually would like Washington to get him for the sake of I have Terry McLaurin and he's been wasting his prime away. and He's such a good wide receiver. And I just want two or three years of him. Like maybe even like one year. I just I need a year of him being good. Give him a quarterback, damn it. Yeah, he's only like, I sold what, like 27, 28. He's twenty eight. Yeah, before last season, I sold I sold McLaurin for Pittman, straight up. I was oh yeah, so I wish I had. could have done something like that, but nobody would ever do that with, with me. <laughs> yeah, I play in a bunch of different leagues with a bunch of different people too, so it's not. Hey, like you never know. I'm in that one. I'm program. in that one small but stacked league, and the guy paid essentially a two hundred one. Or no, uh, he paid two hundred one, which is essentially a one hundred seven for Where's Matt Stafford because it's a three QB league. Where's my case? Where my I know. Crazy. I need a second. Okay. But it's just one of those things where I think Jane Daniels is really good. I'm not sure how much of this is smoke. I'm not sure how much of this they're trying to get another team interested to maybe pay something up or if maybe that guy wasn't supposed to say anything he's just an idiot and he you know messed up and said something he wasn't supposed to say so just one of those things um we're so close it's just we're gonna get so much of the smoke in the next couple weeks and we have to really be able to decipher how much is true and how much is just trying to get people to pick differently and get them to like, like no different than when you're in a fantasy draft and you're chatting with people and you're talking about people you like because really the other guy you want to fall. Yeah. Yeah. Kids got me all flustered. Sorry. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. Not yet. What were we even talking about? I don't even remember. Jake Daniels. So... Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I, I want him to be a Patriot. That's where I want him to go. But... I want him so bad. It's got to suck so bad because you got like... Man, but I, yeah. I don't even even care now. I'm at this point like I wanted him to trade back, and now I just want him to take a quarterback just so I can see what happens. Because I've been hearing this Drake Mays like Josh Allen, and Jaden Daniels is like awesome, and he could run, he could throw, he's awesomely uh-huh. accurate. I'm like, so you know what? Just take one of these guys. I don't even care. Just take one of them. Don't trade back. Take one of these guys. See what you could do. Make a trade for a wide receiver and run it back. Let's go. Go eight and eight, <laughs> or whatever. Nine and eight. The defense is good. Defense isn't bad. So they just need to fix that offense. They can get a quarterback that can throw the ball where he's supposed to, and not to the fucking other team. Be perfect. All right, dude. I'm going to give you the first. Oh, look at you with the sunshine. Dose the reality since we've started the pot up. Mm. 
We're going to do a water bet right now. Nine and eight. Okay. Water bet right now. Water bet. You are not going well, no, nine and eight. I, I'll water I bet, bet that. I bet. I bet the hold on. If the Patriots take one of these quarterbacks, Jaden Daniels no. or Drake May. Just one of those they two? Will, they will be better. Yeah, just one of those two. They will be better. Uh, I want it. I want the it. The Giants. I want it if they I, – no, not – It will be Giants. better than the Giants. That's easy. That's that's, that's easy. No, no, it's not. I'm doing, they, the Patriots are one of the worst teams in the NFL you right now. You, But I never said the Giants are going to fucking 9-8. and eight. You said 9-8. and eight. Well, it doesn't have to be 9-8. and eight. I'm just – we're. I'm going with this now. Nine I'm going eight. with they're going to finish better than the Giants. Hey, nine and eight. You said nine and eight. That's what I'd water bet. I, no, I'm not. I'm not betting that. You're the one who said it. No, but I said we're gonna have a water bet right now, and, and then I said what the bet would be, and then no. But I said they but could I go nine and eight. Bet. So listen. But I said I said they could go nine. nine. I didn't say that was the water bet. It's not happening. So what's gonna happen is you guys are gonna take a quarterback. And he's going to suck. To throw it to. <laughs> well, that's what Who's I mean. They're going to trade for a wide receiver. Who? Ayuk? Ayuk, Higgins. You, th- no. See, they got the money to pay him. So that's all I'm yeah. saying. Fantasy world. Got that bank. Fantasy world. Okay. Yeah, probably. But that's what we're playing, so. I think you are too emotionally invested in the Patriots and you're not I thinking am. clearly. Um, I am. I just don't want them to suck so bad. It's tough. I think you guys are going to grab... I think you guys are going to move back. I fucking hope not, but they will. That's their MO. I think you guys are playing uh, the brisket. Yeah, I could see that too. But everybody, we should, I got a another side star. Have you been seeing any like NFL mock drafts where like Bo Nix is going to the Broncos? Yeah, I don't know why anybody wants Bo Nix. I don't either. I don't but understand it. Broncos do. If, I think they feel like he's like a Drew Brees type, and then Peyton can. Hayden really likes Mold him starting off and molding these guys who are 28 years old. Yo, Taysom Hill's gonna be our guy. We're gonna mold him and be like, what did they do? Did he do that on purpose to like stick it to the Saints? Like, I don't understand what, don't what that even was. Hey, if but, he ever gets cut, I guarantee you that he's gonna end up on the Broncos. <laughs> oh, 100%. 100%. But, uh, yeah, I just think Jaden Daniels is a good talent. I'm really excited to see where he ends up. I think it'll elevate whatever team a little bit. And uh, as long as they have the weapons for him, if it's one of the teams that has no weapons, then I'm not as confident. Well, I mean, what, what does Washington have other than Terry Jahan Zacher? Jahan, Jahan, what did Jahan do last year? I don't think I'm just telling you who they have. I'm not saying if they're good or not. I'm just telling you who they have. Right, but that's you were saying. Yeah, you were saying they have to have good weapons. So all they have Zachary, is McLaurin. Bro. Zach Ertz, bro. Come on, come on. What is he? Ninety-seven years old. He's not that old. running on a running on his fucking big toe. Get out of here. He's got no knees. He's younger than me. He's younger than me too. <laughs> I think he's younger than me. Hold on, let me check. Actually, let me double check that. I'm like might 38, 38 years young. He might not be older than me. Hold on, let me... I think half he the is. NFL, sure like he's more than half the NFL is younger than me. Okay, you know, he, he's pretty much my, he's my age. So, but whatever. Same thing. I'm just saying that it, it's you, you're splitting beans here. All the teams beans. at the top suck, except for fucking the Bears. Splitting hairs, that's not splitting even whatever. There. Beans. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the mock We only split got 20 peas, minutes left or so. Peas. Yeah, right, we only got 20 minutes up. left or so. Uh, we're gonna yeah, go we, off. Of, we can we can go a little longer if we have to finish it. Let me actually. All right, I'll pull bring up, up the mock so we know what the landing spots are. Yeah, because I'm gonna pull it up on my iPad so I can see it. Okay. 
So we're going to do the mock draft based on, obviously, the landing spots because I like this idea. Uh, this was Piff's idea. I, I totally, fully support it because I don't like doing mocks when I don't know the landing spots of players. But if we're going to base it on a certain mock draft, I'm okay with that because then we know the players. In this alternate reality, this is where they went, and I'm okay with that. Um, do you have oh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go every other, so it's gonna appear you know, we're not we're not actually drafting a team and letting it auto, we're gonna we're gonna actually based on if we were that team where we would go. Oh, and the last thing I have to do is I do have to actually make this linear. Perfect, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. All right. Pull this up. Is this one weird? I just turned this one on for you. No, I'll leave that off. Just those two. Okay. Just leave that one on. All right. Thank you. However you want your life to be. And I'm going to hit start because we put no time limit. Oh, oh, never mind. This is the, this was the next Okay. Okay. I should have paused it before we started. So you don't start it. Deal, just guys. just just don't start it. Just input the players. Uh, I'm just that I'm gonna re, you know remove the players and then do that. I meant to hit pause first. That was on me. All right. So do you want odds or evens? Um odds. All right. So you will start one oh one. Well, we're gonna this is one QB, correct? This is a one QB. All right. Well, on this, in this mock, the Jets traded up with the Chargers mm -hmm. and took Marvin Harrison. And then with the sixth pick, the Giants took Malik Neighbors. I'm taking Malik Neighbors with this one. <clears throat> Malik Neighbors in the 101. All right. Well, based on that, that was actually going to be my first pick. So I'm going to have to go. See, because I actually, if we're going based on this, I don't like Marvin Harrison going to the Jets that much. Me, me either. I hate it. I'll put him even below. I'll put him below. No, I won't put him below Rome. Because Rome went to the Bears, so that's not very good either. Um, but a couple times I missed out on players I really liked because I didn't go with the talent. So I'm still gonna go with Marv too. I would have gone neighbors if you went Marv. Um. Hmm. It is going to get tough because we are going to get to the point where it is. It's already tough. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go. Oh God, I'm going to. Uh... I'm going to go Brock Bowers. Okay. He went to the went to the Broncos. Yep. With them losing Judy, I feel like. I know we play in a bunch of point five tight end premium, so we'll just go. I don't know who's throwing the ball like, there. So, if I was to pick, and this just all happened, where we're going? Let's see. I really know I need a guy who's going to be the number one on his team. I'm gonna go Brian Thomas because he has him going to the Cardinals. Like that. Yep. Now, again, he's got – where is he? I'm going to have to find him. Sorry about that, guys. 
Um, you got Rome going to the Bears. Yeah, I don't like that. Me either. But I mean, I'm going to have to take him. I'm going to have to take him because there's no. It's like me with Harrison. It was like I had to pick the talent, even though I didn't like the landing spot. Yeah. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Now, what would you say? With this if thing? Harrison had gone to the Chargers, would you have gone Harrison instead of Neighbors? Went, yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, it's just because that landing spot, that landing spot, it's bad. At six, assuming these are the where everybody goes, I probably have. Uh, let's see, <sighs> this is tough. I mean, you're gonna go here, Caleb here. We're we gonna go Caleb. If I'm at this spot and I'm looking at where these people fell in Daniel Jeremiah's mock, I'm looking at Adnai Mitchell, who he has going to to uh, the Chiefs because of what just happened with Rasheed Rice today, or yesterday rather. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, I am. My eyes are peeking over at some of these guys, and I'm really like, oh, should I do? I pick Caleb? Do I pick Jaden? Like, if I'm a team that needs a quarterback, I'm not ashamed Come to on. be picking a quarterback at 106. I'm not like, oh, for, now do I like to? No, I want to take a wide receiver or a running back in the first round because I'm trying to get, you know, I already ha should have an established quarterback. Uh, so I personally, if we're going off these, which we are. Yeah, we, we also going to have to make up some running back ones because. Yes, they haven't fallen yet. So we should when we do yeah. it, we should say who we're imagining they went to. Right, yes. So exactly. for me. It would be Adnai Mitchell going to Kansas City in the last pick of the first round. All right. Now, here, here is where I would start thinking about a running back in the one QB. Yes. This is where I would say, okay, well, well, I've been hearing a lot of, uh, we'll just say it because it's been common, Jordan Brooks to Dallas. To Jonathan Brooks? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Jonathan Brooks to Dallas. Yeah. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go Jonathan Brooks here. See, and I think if Jonathan Brooks goes to Dallas, there's a world where he goes way sooner than this just because they know Dallas likes to run a running back a certain way. I like that pick. Uh, if this is me now, I'm also looking at that. Now, I'm peeking over it. Uh, Xavier Worthy. I forgot. Does he even have Xavier Worthy going in the first round? I think he does. He does not. I don't think he does. So he doesn't. So we would have to imagine that and that and that. Uh, but for, yeah, for me, I mean, personally, I think Ad and I was the last – the last offensive player worth for, for um, me personally, yeah. In this first round. For me personally, it's Trey Benson or Blake Corum uh going to a certain team. I'm gonna imagine that I'm gonna imagine that Trey Benson goes to The Giants in the early second round to displace Devin Singletary. I like that. And if he does go there, that's that's a high spot for him too, I think. Yeah, when they're an early second. So it's a realistic where it's like not a first, but it's close to the first round. Yeah. So um I think here's where I'm gonna uh, go Caleb Williams. Okay. I think we're going to take yep. Caleb Williams here. Makes sense. You're a team that made the playoffs but lost in the you know semifinals or something. Yeah, probably because I lost a quarterback. Yes. <laughs> so. So here's where I would be like, oh, he just took that. They're about to run. I'm worried about this. And I'm looking at these two, and I'm like, do I have Terry? Do I want Drake May or do I want Jaden Daniels or do I want J.J. McCarthy? Now, if I'm Team 10, there's a good chance I have Justin Jefferson, but he was hurt last year, and that's why I didn't win. And now, based on these landing spots, I look at J.J. Uh, J. McCarthy, and I'm like, oh, cool, I can have the stack. And that's the wrong move. Jaden Daniels is better. <laughs> no, it's kidding. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's tough because we play fantasy football. So if Jaden Daniels runs a lot, he's going to be better. And, and I, I'm sure J.J. runs – too, but not the same. Um, 
Me personally, oh man, this is tough. I'm in between Jane Daniels and JJ McCarthy. Let's go, team. Let's go. Thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and this, I'm gonna go Jane Daniels because of the upside of the run. We're playing fantasy football. Okay. He went to the Patriots. Here's to hoping he's the new franchise. Um, all right. Uh, we'll say Xavier Worthy landed in Chargers in the second. No. I'm just thinking about who's the early pick in the second. It'd be the Chargers, the Giants, the Titans, the Bears, the the Cardinals, the Commanders. Yeah, they could. I mean, who knows? They could take Drake May in the first, and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go say he went to the Patriots in the second oh, round. Okay, I like All that. Right, I'm taking X worthy. I could see that, which, hey, totally, totally plausible. Um, I'm going to say then at that point, I'm the champion. I'm the guy who won the league. You needed a piece to do that. I'm looking right here and saying to myself, wow, the value of running back has really gone down. I don't know if there's another year that I can get a running back that could be a starter at the 12th pick, and it's not a Trey Sermon or somebody bad like that. Or, or Keyshawn Vaughn. So I'm going to go Blake Corum. And I'm going to imagine he goes to... I heard a mock today. I'm not trying to push you in a different no, direction. No, please, please. Um, LA, Chargers. Okay. But they See, had him going, going in the, the fourth. Chargers, they had him going in the, there in the fourth. It messes up J.K. Dobbins for me, but... For the sake of this mock, let's say he goes to the Chargers, and I gladly take him at 112. I don't even think he would make it to 112, but I would say I'd grab him. All right. Um, here I'm going to go, because this is obviously I'm a bad team, so I probably don't have much of anything. Yep. So I'm going to take Drake May. Yep, you took the wide receiver you thought was the best. Now you're taking Drake May and the Commanders. Now if I'm team two, I'm also a bad team. I'm happy I got Harrison. I know neighbors is around the same, but like, let's just say this guy is elated right now. He's so happy. He's like, I got to get another good pick. So he's looking. Let's see what we got. I don't think there's many people on Daniel Jeremiah's... Uh, there's not because he only did that one round. He only did Probably one round, and most of them were yeah. defense and offensive line and stuff. But I'm gonna take a little quick look, see if I can find one before I. Uh, I'm just gonna start going off talent, yeah. and and add a landing spot into it. Yep, that's what we're gonna have to do. Um, I'm gonna say. I say JJ McCarthy went to the yeah I'm the number Harrison probably went to the Jets and I'm like okay that's cool or whatever taking JJ because again ex- honestly basically what you said bad team looking for the future got a good wide receiver to hopefully a blue chip prospect to build on and now i'm taking a quarterback hoping to build on him and not have to draft either in a while for a while all right here i'm gonna go lad mcconkey oh, that was my next pick damn it <laughs> go lad mcconkey and he went to Could use a nice slot. I'm 
I'm gonna go Chargers again. Chargers. I'm gonna say I'm next. We'll say they grabbed him in the second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say Troy Franklin. For what team grabbed him? It was Baltimore. Ah, good pick. I'm going to say he went to Baltimore for the sake of this. Now this team's happy. They got Brian Thomas and Troy Franklin, and they hopefully have two wide receivers to build on. All right, my next pick is going to be Braylon Allen. And he went to Tampa Bay to be the banger. You, okay. You, I was going to say, uh, Bull just came out today and said how much he likes Rashad White and how Rashad White's the guy. He could be the guy, but this guy could be the banger. That's fair. That's fair. I'm gonna he's go. probably not going to go to like the fourth anyway, so. Yeah, that's fair. Honestly, if I'm this guy, I just got N. I Mitchell. I'm pretty pumped about it. Thinking about Keon Coleman. Between him and uh... okay, yeah, I'm gonna go Keon. And obviously, guys looking at home, we're not planning on going seven rounds. We just didn't no, want we're to probably going to stop this after two. Yeah, yeah, just just because we don't have any much landing spots. So. Exactly, exactly. We we just didn't want to limit our positions. It would let us take, so we put way more than we needed. I'm gonna say Keon Cole. I'm gonna say he goes to the Niners when they get rid of Ayuk, or. Just because they know they're going to not have Ayuk soon or that Debo's getting older. All right. Um, I'm going to take uh, Xavier Leggett. Okay. Where you got him going? I'm looking to see the rounds. Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay. He goes to the Carolina Panthers. Okay. With Let's a 39th that. pick. Let me see something. Um... I think if I'm this team, you know what? <sighs> Between them and that, I think I guess because the comp, maybe I'm being influenced by the combine. I don't know, but either way, I'm gonna imagine that. Team grabbed him. Out of these teams available, the Bengals who signed Zach Moss grabbed Bucky Irving. I will probably change my mind on that. But again, we're working off limited. I just kind of I'm looking you had at the Giants take somebody, right? I had the Giants take Trey Benson, who the guy that team already had. So I did, so that was what influenced me is I didn't want to I'm not going to give the Giants Irving and draft him if I already thought the same team was drafting okay. Benson with the Giants. Mm. Yep. In the but, in the third but round, teammate, teammate would be pumped to get two rookie running backs that late in the draft, two eight and one eight. All right. So with this pick, I'm um, in the third round. The um, 
the Las Vegas Raiders with the 77th pick take Marshawn Lloyd out of USC. Yeah. And I'm going to take him with that. I almost picked him, I, but I couldn't think of what team would take him. And now you said the Raiders, and I'm like, yeah, totally see that. But I like Zamir, and I hope he doesn't get replaced. But Me too. Me too. Probably will. <laughs> but, you know, they're going to get somebody because they lost Jacobs anyway. Yeah. If I'm this team, if I'm this team, I'd be thinking, yeah, where you where you're looking. That's where yes. I would be thinking right yes. now. Yes. And uh, I would like to see him. Now, where did you say you saw Bowers going? To the Jets, a lot of places. But he's not in this mock. He's not. He went to the Broncos. Okay, so, so he went to the Broncos, which is the reason that I think uh, Tavion goes to – where is it? I just had the team. Which team I thought he – oh, the Bengals. Oh, you were going to say the – I thought you were going to say the Jets, but yeah. No, the Bengals, because the Bengals are looking at Bowers. So I, I my pick is because I think they were looking at Bowers but didn't get him. Okay. All right. Now, let me look at this DJ mock real quick. I don't, I don't even know if he went. He only won the first round. Yeah, he did. I'm um, taking Michael Penix. Oh, to the Raiders? Yeah. He went to Vegas. Yeah, to you can tell by my reaction that was my pick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to say... I might go Jalen right. Uh, Jalen Wright going to the Dolphins. Wow, it's a random guess. I I'm just trying to speed it up, and at the same time, um, I know for a fact that they just signed. Raheem Mostert to a two year, but they have to start thinking about replacing him eventually. So, yeah, that's a good pick. Yeah. All right. And, and if I was team 12 and I won the Super Bowl and I was happy with my wide receivers already and I had Blake Corum and Jalen Wright in that situation fall to me, I'd be pretty happy. The Blake Corum one to the Chargers would make me so happy to fall, but I don't think you'd fall to 112 if he went to the Chargers. Not me either, especially because they only have like really Gus Edwards and like Isaiah Spiller. I don't even but know then, if they have Joshua Kelly still. Yeah, but J.K. Dobbins is visiting Thursday. And Greg Roman's already seen what he can do and already likes him. It's true. We will see. We will see. But this is it, guys. We have Team 1 getting Neighbors in May. Team 2 getting Harrison McCarthy. Bowers and McConkie going to 3. 4 has got Thomas and Franklin. Adunze and Allen going to 5. Six gets Mitchell and Coleman, Brooks and Leggett to seven, Benson and Irvin nice to eight, Caleb and Lloyd nice to nine, Daniels and Sanders, Worthy Penix, and Coram Wright. So, all right. I actually forgot Boom. I didn't put that on. It's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, we went a couple minutes over, but. Whatever, it's only a few. Yeah. Now. Yeah. This is our thing now. Once once you hear this music, you know, we're winding down. And we're just going to tell over. you guys to like, comment, subscribe, share. I know it's annoying to share stuff to people. And sometimes people are like, I don't want to watch this and that. If you know people are into fantasy football, send it to them, send it to your league, do what you got to do. But at the very, very, very least, subscribe because... We're getting a lot of views, but not everybody subscribed. So that's all you gotta do. You click that button once. We need, you know, you're helping Boom. us out. You're part Love of the it. Original. OG style. OG style. And like I said, the more, once we get to a certain amount of subscribers, we'll start t-shirts and it'll be like the original. Like we'll, we'll release a shirt that's like we'll do like 102 shirts. We'll, we 
me and him have one, and then there's a hundred fans. That's it. Or maybe we'll even do I mean, ninety. Fans also, fans. also, plug the Discord. We got a Discord. Yes. Y'all can hop in, share that. Just we want to get that popping. We can get you know mocks going, whatever you want guys want to do. Startups, just get yeah, a lot more vehicles, discussion whatever. there. People dropping their gamer tags to play Xbox and PlayStation and stuff. So Call of Duty too. So that's always fun. Yeah, whatever. It's whatever. Let's just uh, you know, keep it cool. Do that. We're gonna be hopping Chilling. on TikTok soon too. I, I made. Oh, one. TikTok. Huh? On I, I posted like one photo when I got five hundred views, and it was just a photo. So I was like, cool. So we'll uh, we'll get on there and we'll do what out. And like I said in the beginning of the episode, we're definitely gonna get to the point where we're. Uh, Doing more lives and popping on, maybe two pops on by myself. I pop on by myself. People we pop on together, and it's just impromptu, random yeah. lives. Hell, dude! Do- if, I get, uh, if I can get like you know five or six people in here, we just want to like shoot the shit for a couple hours or an hour or whatever. We'll just yeah. do that. Even even hop in the Discord stages or something. We can record that and put it out here. We can record that, put it on whatever. So we just gotta. Uh, we gotta, we're gonna be moving, moving, and moving fit, moving fast. So absolutely, absolutely, and let us know about the auction because we do still have openings for the auction. League. If you listen to this, if you're genuinely interested. Comment below. Tell us you're interested in the auction league. That is going to be a multi-episode event. We're gonna go on. Yeah. We're gonna do it on a Saturday. We're gonna get people that can all do it on a Saturday. And we're gonna do multiple episodes in one day where we we're gonna do the whole draft in one day, but it'll be multiple episodes for it. They'll come out with uh, a little almost like mini event. They're not going to be two weeks that, for that special event. So, I want to do the same that. thing. I want to do the same thing with the Superflex, the the Listener League Superflex League. I want to do that. Live. Yes, actually, yeah. I have a thing where we're live. We do the whole entire thing in a fast grab. I agree. Mm-hmm. 100%. Yep. I definitely want to do some no, live no. drafts on here. Maybe, yeah. maybe even some underdog drafts when it gets closer to the season. Yes. I'm always down for best ball. Always down. So, absolutely, guys. And we keep growing because of you guys. So, thank you and yep. keep it up. Appreciate it. So, until next time. Peace out.